Many people around the world apply for jobs and then eagerly wait for an interview callback, but only a select few get that callback, and there are lots of factors which go into that, like experience. But a study out of Northwestern University found there may be another reason why some people aren't hearing back, and it has to do with race. Lincoln Quillian led the study, which took data from about 97 previously conducted field experiments, looking at the hiring process in nine countries. The data included fictitious resumes, which held the same information but had different names. Some had ethnic-sounding names and others had non-ethnic names. We found racial and ethnic discrimination against non-white groups um, uh, was really quite ubiquitous across countries and across groups. So um, there were really no situations in which, you know, the majority members of the white group were more discriminated against than minority members were. Quillian and his team measured discrimination by calculating the percent of interview callbacks an ethnic applicant had versus a non-ethnic applicant. France and Sweden ranked the highest out of the nine countries studied for the level of discrimination shown during a hiring process, followed by Great Britain, Canada, Belgium and Norway. The U.S., Netherlands and Germany had relatively lower levels of discrimination while calling applicants back. The study only included countries which had at least three research experiments on the subject. And um, if anything, I would suspect a little bit that the countries that we have data on have perhaps less discrimination than the countries we don't have data on, uh, in part because uh, countries that had done, uh, you know, that have done a lot of field experiments of discrimination, that reflects the fact that there's concern in the country about the issue of discrimination. Senior economist Sheila Block recently did a study on inequality in Canada's labor market. My overall perception is that racism is alive and well in the Canadian job market. Um, it's not the way we like to think of ourselves. Block says a lot of times the bias is unconscious. Very few people wake up in the morning and decide that they want to be discriminatory. What people need to do to, to address this is to look at their employment systems. So the first thing that you need is you need some data and you have to look at it and say, does my workforce reflect the population around us? And if it do doesn't, who's not at the table, who's not being hired, and why aren't they being hired? And then what you want to do is you want to set up systems so that you're taking some positive measures to make sure that you're not discriminating in these hiring processes. With the right changes made, the hope is the most qualified people will get that callback.